T-minus one minute and counting. Stable at step three. T minus 30 seconds in counting. Set valves locked. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Go for main engine start. 3, 2, one zero and ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V with the Solar Dynamics Observatory, learning why our star is changing our lives. Good steady state outboarding levels at 100 percent thrust on the Marty 180. Beautiful dynamic disturbances look good. 30 seconds ignition. This is the accelerator speedway. 40 seconds. Everything looking good. Mission operating pressures are normal. Coming up on going into closed loop control on Atlas PU. And we try to close loop control on the Atlas propellant utilization system. Operating pressures continue to look good. Flight control data is smooth, as expected for this portion of atmospheric flight. Coming up on Mach 1. And the vehicle is now supersonic, approaching max dynamic pressure. Everything is looking good. And we are hitting max Q. PU is controlling as expected, engine operating as expected. Everything looking good. And the vehicle continues right down the center of the range track. We are 12 miles in altitude, 11 miles down range, traveling at 2300 miles per hour. Start Atlas Propulsion and Hydraulic Securing. And vehicle Magic. has transitioned to 95% so thrust as expected. EC system securing. is continuing to control as expected. And we are now at 50% of our liftoff weight. Engine continues to operate as expected at 95% thrust. Center Pneumatics, LC. Yeah, approaching our... Center Pneumatics. Start center pneumatic and Close the loop steering phase, steering. and Project. we have entered that. And we fired the power valve, activating or pressurizing the reaction control system on Centaur. Booster can just perform nominally. Can we see normal PU control? Flight control parameters are nice and smooth. Vehicle is accelerating at 3.6 Gs. We got 38 miles in altitude, 83 miles downrange, traveling at 6,600 miles per hour. Flight control parameters look good. Vehicle now weighs 25% of its liftoff weight, and we've entered our constant 5G throttling phase. The RD-180 is compensating to maintain 5Gs of acceleration as expected. We have started boost phase chill down, introducing fuel to the RL-10 engine to condition it for operation. Fifty-six 
So we have 66 miles in altitude, 195 miles downrange, at 11,300 11, miles per hour. We have cutoff. Everything looking good. Ignition, full thrust. RL-10 is up and running normally. Coming up on fairing jet. And we have jettisoned the fairing right on time. Everything looking good. You're seeing normal steady state operating levels on Centaur. Good startup transient. And we've started thermal conditioning firings on the RCS thrusters. Center PU is in its fixed angle position as expected. Engine operating parameters did respond to the change in mixture ratio. Vehicle continues right down the center of the range track. We are now 108 miles in altitude, 407 miles downrange, traveling at 11,600 miles per hour. We are seeing expected activity on the reaction control system. Vehicles accelerating nice and smooth. Engine operating levels look good. Continuing our open loop phase and center PU. And we're now in closed loop control on center PU. And engine parameters are changing as expected, now operating on the fuel rich stop. This is the expected behavior at this time in flight. Reaction control system is as expected. Data now coming through the Antigua Island tracking station. Everything looking good. And we've begun our 104 degree roll to mitigate solar heating on VSDO spacecraft. Vehicle is controlling as expected. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. Center PU has come off the stop, now controlling near nominal mixture ratio. We are now 156 miles in altitude, 830 miles downrange, traveling at 12,500 miles per hour. Our L10 chamber pressure continues to look good. Pump discharge pressure, fuel venturi inlet pressure look good. And we've completed the roll for solar heating mitigation. We're turning to null rates. Everything is nice and smooth, accelerating at 0.47 Gs. Seeing expected firings on the reaction control system for roll control and thermal conditioning of the thrusters. Center PU operating normally. Passing through 500 seconds into the mission, we are well into a planned 11-minute burn of Centaur. Engine operating parameters look good. We are now 168 miles in altitude, 1,100 miles downrange, traveling at 13,200 miles per hour. Also signal at the Cape, all data now coming through Antigua. Everything continues to look good. And we have safe the FTS system. P 
CPU continues to control as expected. Our L10 burning nominally. Vehicle rates are very smooth. Vehicle accelerating at 0.52 Gs. Continuing to follow a nominal trajectory. 169 miles in altitude, 1,350 miles downrange, traveling at 13,900 miles per hour. Now hit the 10 minute mark into the mission. Vehicles performing nominally. Body rates continue to be smooth. We're now 1,500 miles downrange, traveling at 14,500 miles per hour. Can we see good steady state operating levels on Centaur? Loss of signal at Antigua, acquisition through Tedris. CPU controlling nominally, accelerating smoothly at 0.57 Gs. Our CS activity is as expected. Hydrazine loop temps right where we expect them to be. Body rates look good. Everything is performing nominally. We are now 1,770 miles down range, traveling at 15,000. 400 miles per hour. Passing through 700 seconds into the mission, center burning normally. PU is controlling right down the middle. Body rates are smooth. Accelerating smoothly at 0.65 Gs. About another three minutes in the Centaur burn. Status check for pad reentry. Atlas LO2. Momentarily, we will begin Ready. a vehicle roll Ready. to point the antennas Atlas at propulsion. the average Ready. Tedris East position. Atlas hydraulics. Ready. Atlas pneumatics. Ready. Water system. Ready. And we've begun that roll Center activity. Engine chill. Ready. Engine continues Center to pneumatics. operate normally. Ready. Proceeding Center right down LO2. the center of the range Ready. track. Center LH2. Ready. 2,040 miles Ready. downrange, 16,300 miles Ready. per hour. OSM. Ready. ASO. Ready. Vehicle is continuing its turn for Tedris pointing. Good steady state operating levels on the engine. Expected PU activity. Good hydrazine thruster activity. We are now nulling out our roll rate, achieving our pointing attitude. Two minutes remaining in the Centaur burn. We are now two minutes to a nominal MECO 1. Vehicles performing nominally. Everything is looking good. Good steady state operating levels on Centaur. Normal PU and RCS activity. And we've just achieved orbital velocity.
We are now one minute to a nominal MECO one. Everything is looking good. We're listening to Rob Gannon, our Atlas V telemetry manager for United Launch Alliance. And we're now in open loop control on center PU. Correction. We'll achieve that milestone approximately 10 seconds. 20 seconds to MECO 1. And we've now gone to open loop control on center PU. Coming up on cutoff. And shut down. We've achieved MECO 1. Approximately five seconds early. We have four settling on as expected. We've begun our turn to PTC attitude. We are now entering an 87 and a half minute coast duration, the second burn of Centaur.